Welcome guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to part two of installing the stage two uh, turbo on the 435. So this night could have been totally different. Could have gone totally a different route because we were actually on our way to um, a meet that was hosted by SVT Alex. I'll probably post a picture of his car right here. It's a pretty bas badass Cobra. Um, currently it's down, but he does have a GT on running E85. Um, would have been dope if this would have been running been totally badass if it was the 435 stage 2 versus his uh customized modified um cobra that he has i think it's an 04 right axel is it 04 i really don't know i don't know but it sounds amazing he shoots flames it's pretty cool um but we were on our way we were actually taking the e90 so i actually parked outside it let me down tonight um, i got off work at 7 30 the meet was at 7 30. i hit up hugo um that fool's all like, oh, I'm washing the car, I'll be there. So I'm like, cool, by the time I get out of work and get everything done, and this fool meets me at, at my job, then we can head out, and we'll probably get there at the same time Hugo was gonna get there. And one thing after another, it was just a bunch of pure bad luck, and then we're about, maybe, we're leaving Fresno, because the, the meet was in Hanford. We were le leaving Fresno, and I don't know where my lights just turned off. And I was like, oh, fuck. Just what I needed. The car dying out on me or acting funny. But what ended up happening is the car was running fine. It's just the lights went out. Um, I've seen this before. I'm pretty sure it's just a fuse that we have to look at in the morning. So I had to flip a U, take the back roads home. It took me like an hour to get here when it normally takes me like maybe 25, 30 minutes. Took the longest way route because I wasn't about to get a ticket. Hell no for not having the lights turned on, nah. So that ended my night, but we are working on the 435 tonight then. Oh, it's all right guys, it's all right. We'll go to another meet. And then when this thing's going on, it's gonna be badass. So currently, last night we, we finished everything. We had to put a pause on the whole thing because we didn't have this support. Um, and what else did we have? I think that was it. I think it was just that that we were missing. Cause we had everything else and we needed the engine to be lifted up a little bit in order to make the the brackets easy, easily to come off and in order to make room for the turbo can just come off. So Axel over here already removed the brackets down there. Uh, how many bolts were there Axel? For which one? For the, bolt, for the harness that you just took off or the brace? brace? Uh, uh, Four for this one, and then three for the engine mount. All right, so this, you just removed, and you removed this guy too. So that's pretty much it. We haven't really gotten far. We just kind of set this guy up. Uh, a lot of people use, um, I think I think I heard an E40 or E46 uh, tow hook. It just screws onto the um, engine mounts. We ended up using the E90s hook and it, it worked it actually screwed <laughs> which was kind of trippy because we were not expecting that we were actually expecting to be held back another day for i can order the part but it works it's fine it's holding up um i did a couple of turns the engines lifted up a tiny bit in order to give a little bit more space for the mount to be removed because this guy's really like on there like it's bolted and there's no like no you can't move this at all like the engine is, is stuck there so we lifted it up giving a little bit of an inch axel was struggling he finally got it off I already know that's going to give us trouble when we're going to be putting it in. Like, I already know. Um, that was easy. Just a couple bolts, popped it off. And now he's removing the rest of the lines. How many lines are remaining, Axel? A couple more. Huh? Oh, that's still fucking cool, baby. Oh, that's a little bit of coolant. So update, we're kind of struggling a little bit. We kind of have everything sort of done. We just need to remove all the hoses and all the, everything connected to the turbo, like all, just pretty much literally all the hoses and the, um, where the cold air intake connects to, to the turbo. That's pretty much it. So we're literally removing the last bolt that connects to that cold air intake. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's all the way back there. 
Hey, we got the bolt out. And we finally got the tubing out. This was such a big old hassle. It literally just had three bolts and a couple, um, one connector. Let me see if I can get it. So it was basically like that, basically. Like that, right? We got the color intake, super easy to get off. And then you have to go down. There's there's gonna be one bolt right here. One wire, this wire also leads to this. So there was one bolt right here, another bolt right here, and the last one that I just literally took off. So it was gonna be, this is gonna be the 10 millimeter one. This one's gonna be the T, I literally just had it right here. I think it's gonna be the T20. Yeah, it's gonna be the it's gonna be the T20, a 10 millimeter one, and then this guy's gonna be also a 10 millimeter one. And then there's a little connector sensor right here. You just kind of push it off, and that's it. And then kind of wiggle it out, and it comes off. But this one was probably the hardest one because it was kind of like deep in there, and you had to use a bunch of con of uh, extensions and stuff. So, ooh, finally got rid of that. Let's go ahead and put this outside. I'm probably gonna put the bolts just taped on there just so we won't lose them. Oh, big old hassle, but literally the last thing we gotta do now is remove the final bits of piping left connected to it, and then that's it. Start taking off the bolts, it comes off, and boom! Stage 2 turbo going in. Sick as well. That's fucking gross. Even shower? <laughs> really? You're gonna do the whole install yourself. That's what you're gonna do. <laughs> so we're gonna take a break because we're kind of we're kind of stuck a little bit. Um, we have maybe two more lines that we need to get off. Let's see if you guys can see them. It's a, it's a that, line. Yeah, that gray one right there, literally right there. We need to remove that, but it connects somewhere over here, and it has. I don't know if we can just like take it off and pry it off where there's actual bolts i played around with it like the piping i pushed I, um, I touched like all around and i didn't feel any any tubing or anything like that it's weird because this one's definitely gone this one's gone we need these this, this one's one gone. Which one is it? This, we need this one this one i think is for the oil one or one of them there's no this one you removed for sure there's another one back there or somewhere at the bottom or something we're playing around with this one, trying to see exactly how to remove those, because it is being a little bit of a biatch. <laughs> it's definitely still part two. It's another night, guys. I'm back here again. It's around six o'clock, so hopefully I get to take out the turbo today. Um, yesterday, we didn't get much done. It, well, it didn't seem that we got much done, but now that I'm looking at it, we kind of did. Um, Got the cold air intake, all that piping and everything done, right? Um, honestly, the only thing that's holding in the turbo, or, or... So the only reason why I haven't taken out the turbo yet from last night is this rail right here should be an oil rail. There's one bolt over here and another one hidden somewhere over there, which I have to get under the car and check. And I believe that should be it. Um, I have to look around, but I think that's it. That's literally all the connections. So there's nothing else other than that rail. Which I'm looking over here to see how that rail connects because it's kind of in a funny spot. Um, it should be connected here because I already took this off. And the rail should be connected somewhere around here. You know what? No. I start to play around with the turbo because everything else is disconnected. I have this guy ready to go in. This guy, I just need to disconnect that rail and... I should be able to pop that out, but it's just me tonight until my brother gets home. He went out of town and he wasn't going to get back to like way later. So hopefully we get to take it off. And by the time he gets here, he can help me put everything in.
What's up guys? I feel like I do this like every other like three, two hours where I cut back and I'm like, what's up guys, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, I, hopefully this is the last time I cut back and it's another day because this is day like three. Are we day three or we're day four? Three. Day three Basically of the turbo install. Day. We're pretty much almost done. From what you guys saw last time, I was by myself working on day two because this one had to go work. I believe the turbo was still on, the old one. We ended up taking it off um, yesterday. Uh, oh no, this is day four. Yesterday was day three. Day four. That's trippy. Okay, day four. Uh, we didn't work one day. We left it all like that. Uh, whatever. It's day four from the car from the the day the car got lifted up on the jacks. All right. Yeah. All right. So day four, right? So day three, um, the turbo was still inside, right? We had all everything out. It was me just working on it, but we ended up having to take off two more wirings um well, two more hoses i mean i believe it was this one and then there was one hidden somewhere back there that wasn't taken off so if we would have just pulled it off that would have been really bad um so we ended up taking off that when he was at work and it was just me working on it I ended up taking off that um and it was just the turbo on its own so he ended up taking off the turbo um but yesterday when i while i was at work i ended up getting off like at eight which was perfect when he came he went into work so he would spend pretty much all morning trying to get the 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 new turbo in but it's kind of hard because it's it's at least what like 35 maybe 40 pounds i want to say just like a really rough estimate that you have to hold in one hand with not that much leverage you literally just have this much to hold it which is really hard guys if, if you're not like super buff and stuff one hand lifting up to the hole and the other hand just adjusting it and it was super hard because there's not a lot of room out there and it kept hitting and hitting and hitting he tried it for like at least two hours i saw him on the camera just looking at him and that was like kept trying and trying and he, he he was struggling like to the max so i'm like cool like it's all it's all right just leave it there when i get home uh, and you take off to work i'm gonna try doing it and it was a struggle it was a struggle um so i'm gonna make a separate video of how much I've spent on this build so far but I just ordered my wedge performance tune for my upgraded turbo it's gonna be crazy and I'm also gonna make a separate video of why I chose to stick with wedge even though they're a little iffy sometimes um, I'm gonna make a video separately of why I stayed with them so it's probably literally gonna be right after this one but I've seen great things from them one thing I can't tell you why I, one thing I can't tell you why I stayed with them this was torquing the. Yeah, he's torquing the noun. Oh shit! Don't... It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Now oh, here's something that you didn't know. Two of those special atomic bombs haven't gone off. Hey. Hey.